may panahon nga ako mag-aaga sa akong pagsimba kanimo o Diyos ko kung akong hinumduman ang mga nabuhat mo dili ko makapugo pagdahi kanimo My dear brothers and sisters, once again, 
I encourage you to get your own Bible, the Holy Bible, and look for Second Timothy, chapter four, verse one to eight. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead. And because he is coming to rule as king, I solemnly urged you to preach the message to insist upon proclaiming it whether the time is right or not to convince reproach and encourage as you teach with all patience the time will come when people will not listen to sound doctrine but will follow their own desires and will click for themselves more and more teachers who will tell them what they are itching to hear they will turn away from listening to the truth and give their attention to legends but you must keep control of yourself in all circumstances endure suffering do the work of a preacher of the good news and perform your whole duty as a servant of God as for me the hour has come for me to be sacrificed. The time is here for me to live this life. I have done my best in the race. I have run the full distance. And I have kept the faith. And now there is waiting for me the victory prize of being put right with God which the Lord the righteous judge will give me on that day and not only to me but to all those who wait with love for him to appear The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus tells me about the reading. St. Paul's letter to Timothy. Jesus said, My beloved being, peace be with you. Welcome back, my child. It is good to hear about the removal of your godmother, as it was planned already. Do not worry, my child. Everything in you 
is in order. It is a part of my cleansing to your body. For I am preparing you to a mission, the prayer and life workshop mission in your place. A mission to continue of what my Apostle Paul trying to tell to his younger colleague and assistant, Timothy. So my Apostle Paul tell to his assistant Timothy to enjoy the way of life and to encourage himself to keep witnessing to me faithfully. And so to you my beloved being, in my presence, in my hidden presence, continue to preach my message to all of your friends, your associates, your brothers and sisters, especially to your family. By all means, bring down my message of salvation to all of them. Do not wait, my beloved being, when they no longer listen of what was written in my scripture. Do not wait for the time that they will only follow their own desires and they will turn away from listening of my holy gospel. Tell them, I am Jesus Christ, feeling inside in your heart about the letter of my Apostle Paul to Timothy. My ever-loving Jesus, my Lord and my God, Thank you so much for your encouraging words for me to continue preaching in my own little way, guided by your Holy Spirit. A way of prayer and life workshop to listen your message to meditate and pray of what you are going to tell me my Lord thank you so much for protecting me from any danger when I was in the operating room undergoing my surgical gallstone operation Thank you so much for the courage and strength you bestowed on me. When I feel that you are with me on that moment, I surrender it all to you. And then I was in a deep sleep for almost five hours during my operation 
Think of no one, dream of no one, but only you, my Lord Jesus. You overshadowed my soul, freeing myself to accept you, accept your great love for me during that moment of danger of my breath. I heard your voice, Lord, echoing my soul. You are the living word that sits me, that sits me free in my day-to-day -day living. You allow me to remain alone with you in the silence of your presence, waiting for everything to pass. O oh Jesus, for now free my mind, my emotion, my thoughts from the ulterior motives of this world. Free me to love back again to the bosom of your sacred heart. Free me to love you, O Lord Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. My Blessed Mother, intercede to my prayers for today. Lead us always to Jesus, your Son, our Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friends, thank you for listening, watching, and praying with me.